Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the last episode we uh, got our Ring of Royal Grandeur and uh, we completed Yuliana's set, if I just switch across to it. It's a very cool set. While I'm here actually, let's, uh, let's take these out because I want to have a look and, and see what the difference is with our toughness if we were to just put in what gems we have. Okay, so that's 35 million. As opposed to 30 million. So it's it's a significant increase. I think that would be a way of making it more survivable and that's not even using the uh, the best options here. Uh, the other thing to consider is the skills that we have. Harmony is great, but it might be better to swap that over for something else. Just because I'm not sure what uh, what resistances we have. Oh no, we do have cluster single there. That's resist all. That one doesn't have any. Yeah, so 30 million, if I just change that to Mythic Rhythm, uh, it goes down to 23, so yeah, it is a significant, significant increase that we're getting. So that definitely stays, that definitely stays. Um, but swapping over the gems would make a lot of sense. Now we do lose quite a significant amount of damage output doing that. It's like 10% damage output, but it's still going to be an incredibly large amount. And I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to save this for the moment. And of course, there's still going to be more that we want to do with this. We still need to get the lion's claw and then we can upgrade the weapons further, which would be a nice little offset. Um, but that's going to be for another time. We are going to be carrying on with our Mystic Ally build for today. And uh, running a T13 with get some uh, greater of keystones and we'll take things forwards from there. Let's put this all dropped off. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could go and kill some cows. We could go to, let's go to the vault actually. Let's go to the vault first of all. While I'm here, actually, I wanted to have a look and see, do I have Nemesis Braces in here yet? No, I don't. Uh, actually, before we go too far in here, let's get maximum. There we go. That's acceptable. It makes sense to try and maximize your gold collection while you're collecting gold in the vault. Uh, it seems like a... a Foolish thing to say, but the first time I came here on T13, I needed the survivability. Now I don't. It could have been interesting to try and do this with Yuliana's set as well, but I'm just too scared of dying. Whereas I know that working with the Mystic Allies does work. Yeah, it's really good to get our funds back up. This thing is going down. Amulet, Death's Breaths, Boots. Cool. And obviously we have more gems down here. The gems, of course, that we're going to need when we do Counter Sans Despair. We're going to need a lot of upgrades. So it's always good to have them stocked up ahead of time. Right, let's 
let's kill this guy and then we'll chase that gem goblin I'm only using regular attack because I don't want to stop holding down left mouse button in case I accidentally open up the door and he runs away there we go he's gone <clears throat> now we can focus on the blood shard one Cool. Lots and lots and lots of things. I think that's everything from around here. Yeah, love the money. Love the money, love the gems, love the blood shards. Is that Kim that's Kimbo's gold? That's kind of funny. I mean, we could put Kimbo's gold on just for the moment for the last couple of bits, but... I'm, I'm not that fast. Money's relatively easy to come by. And this is going exceptionally well. 112 million. Just what the doctor ordered. If the doctor was to order, like, a huge ton of gold. This needs to finish its cooldown sooner rather than later. But uh, that's not going to stop us going over and talking to the lady. We just completely obliterated that uh, goblin that jumped out of her back. I mean, you can just like stand around and kill the goblins if you fancy. Get all the uh, all the blood shards. Serenity, so we don't need to worry about falling chests. What's an ox bliss? Oh, it's a crossbow. Well, I picked it up now. We'll hold on to it. We'll salvage it up. Let's get all the stuff around the edge. And what's in Greed's strong box? Gloves and chest armor. I mean, it's, it's not great loot after the first time, but uh, it's certainly, oh jeez, it's not even great loot this time. <laughs> uh, but two items is still better than nothing, and having two Forgotten Souls is just more opportunities for reforging. Okay, well... Obviously, the Pist of Thunder, Firewalkers, and Kimbo's Gold are going to get salvaged up. They might be good. We're not really using the Raiment of a Thousand Storms, so it can go for the moment. If we were like playing like super, super long term with this character, it'd be worth uh, checking through everything and making sure. Ooh, is that is that like a tiny bit better? Is that a tiny bit better? But actually, we've got an ancient one, so it's almost certainly not going to be better. That actually looks like a good ancient one as well. Anyway, right, getting distracted. Uh, we're going to run it and we're going to do a regular rift. Uh, before I do that, I will put Nemesis Braces in the cube, though. I've got Nemesis Braces there, and I've got some spare up here. That's good. C 
So we're going to take more damage. But I do think we're survivable enough that it's going to be fine. Fine, he says. Let's see how we do on a speed run. It does mean that we are going to need to be using all of our advantages, and this waller thing is not going to be helping at all. Yeah, this is this is not going to be quick. Mostly because of the arrangement of everyone. Oh, that could have been dangerous. I do still want to be pushing and trying to do this quickly. Think that was too slow for us to do it in a time limit that was like two minutes out of the five that we have now having nemesis braces is only useful if you actually encounter pylons so it's always a, a bit of a risk that you're not going to get to use them, you're not going to get the benefit, and they're just going to be a wasted slot because of that. But we're still going to do a pretty good, uh, pretty good run, I'd say. Then again, we may actually get an interesting pylon. Ah, oh, shame about that shielding, though. That is a terrible time for it. Right, blues. everything in that corner. We are out of conduit, but we are much better on the time. Well, no, we're three minutes in. It's going to be a good run, but it's uh, it's not going to be enough. Five minutes is really, really tough. This is so mental. Another ring. I don't mind stopping to pick up chests now. I know we're not going to do it in time. We are about four, four and a half minutes in and we've not done enough. But uh, it's it's still good to know that we can do this with Nemesis Braces. So maybe with the right setup would be okay. Like get a shield pylon and a conduit pylon. But it would, it would very much be dependent on something like that.
certainly we need a lot more levels and a lot more main stat. Main stat will come from uh, Counter Sands Despair gearing up. If we get an ancient weapon, that will help as well. But uh, these are all wishful thinking things. Also, I should probably put my uh, gold find back at some point. Yeah, we can't stay in the middle of that. That's just... Just too much in too short a space of time. Jeez, just alternating between buffs as quickly as I can. Try and keep on top of everything. Oh, it looks like Amos has come to join me as well. Hello, Amos. How are you doing? I mean, I love the fact that you've come over to join, mate may not be the best time for thinking about getting on my lap. Okay, I think we're safe. What are you doing, mate? Are you just are you just going to be near me? Okay. Well, if you want to come across, that's absolutely fine. I've cleared space for you, so... Now that the uh, the temperature has dropped in London, upstairs isn't unbearably hot. Hey, he's just having a bath. Just being an adjacent cat. After this one, we'll uh, we'll have another run as well. Uh, we'll stick to doing normal rifts this time, and uh, we'll see if we can be any faster. We're eight minutes in at the moment, so it's it's not massively slow, but certainly it's uh, it's not super super fast, which is what we would need. That incredibly high mobility, and probably specific builds like the Wave of Light build can. Uh, can just charge on through and destroy everything but uh, we are focusing on the mystic ally build the other thing that we could uh, potentially do would be to change our legendary gems over and uh, change over what we have in the cube uh, and I say what we have in the cube I, uh, I mean specifically something like uh, Ingeon to reduce our cooldowns or uh, it's, uh, there's other options because damage output isn't really the biggest issue but it is a big issue but there's a, there's a good combination of them Get you gone. Oh, we've got a speed thing just around the corner. That'll get us another elite pack as well.
Flying Dragon has kicked in. Everything does more damage. Cool. Grab these. Nearly Rift Guardian time. As long as it's not Perendi, we'll be okay. If it's Perendi, then I'm going to need to play cautiously. Because he hits like a hammer. And I'm not just saying that because he's a hammer lord. It's right. That should be alright. Hi, Amos. How you doing, mate? You're going to help me in my adventures. Right. He's dead. Grab all of these. Yeah. Well, if you want, you can come on my lap. Or you can stay there. Entirely up to you. No, it's still bath time. Just like cleaning between his toes. Right, back to town. You guys don't need to hear about everything my cat's doing. Uh, let's hand this in first, then we'll IDR stuff because it takes Oryx 30 seconds to close. Razor's Drop, Stone of Jordan, and Held of Righteousness. Yeah, that can all go. As far as levels, we did get one, so a little bit of uh, damage increase. You know what, we will uh, swap this back and we'll do a regular Greater Rift. Uh, not that, I want Spirit Wraps. Spirit Guards, sorry. Okay, Kadala, before we go in, let's have a talk about... Trousers. I cannot afford that. Ah... So Ancient Scales of the Dancing Serpent, which is great. Regular Inner's Temperance. It's tempting to take it and then re-roll the dexterity on it. We get a little bit more toughness, tiny bit more recovery. I don't think it's worth it. And we've already got Ancient Scales of the Dancing Serpent. Alright, well, now we've got two. Typical, that's what I say. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, uh, so our gem was level 50-something. We're going to keep at 68. We seem to be doing okay at that level. Do need something to kill, though. And it is amazing the difference that uh, spirit cards make for survivability with this character. But it's the uh, it's the compounding percentages that really really do it. Come on, we just need you dead. You've been around too long already. There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, it's just incredible to think that Juliana's set does so many billion all the time. And we do hit the billions occasionally, but it's um it's burst damage rather than like, oh this is your main way of fighting. We are a lot safer though. I have to say that. Okay, let's get the allies going and we can start on the Fast Avenger Mortar Electrified Archers. guys are all over the place. We are losing so much time with this. And we are kind of reaching the difficulty where it's worth just skipping mobs that don't have good affixes. We're just going to have to work harder to make up this time. That's all it comes down to. So we'll try and keep our way of 100 fists stacks nice and high. Try and find some pylons. Lots of nearly dead things, but nothing actually just dying for us. Okay, that does make a difference. Alright, this will help. But not that way. If we can utilize it effectively, that is. I think that was pretty effective for utilization. That's certainly given us the time that we needed. guys finished off as well push on to the next interesting pack step out of that just for a second that was a lot of fire that was coming in uh, and the ice as well but mostly it was the fireballs that I was looking at going oh maybe not Maybe that's a bad idea. And everything is taking so long to kill. Everything has so much health. Bang. Yeah, unless we find another pylon or something. Get 
then we will struggle with the time. So I need something to help us along, something to give us a boost. I kind of need it now, because we've only got half the time of the rift left. It's not even like I can bypass these mobs either, because they're filling so much space. where we can. I mean, this would be amazing for Julianas just for the number of mobs to bounce off and explode. this elite mob taken out because we can do that in a timely fashion we'll be in a great place or at least a slightly better place I mean great is not the right word to use I do think we're fighting a losing battle this time. But you can't win every single one. And with these, I'm trying to make enough progress that we can keep moving forwards so that we've got more chance of finding a pylon or something. Haven't actually seen a channeling pylon today which is a bit of a surprise. They've been quite common recently you kind of get used to them. And one of those would be really welcome right, right about now. Everything is dangerous, everything is horrible.
a yellow and blues. And not being able to see what's going on on the screen. I mean, this is like a nightmare. And less severe is really relative in this situation. And that was a good amount of progress that we got from those blues, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, that only just got us up to time. Give me a pylon. I I just just want a little boost. It's not much to ask for. Really not much. It's so much damage under our feet. Definitely going to run out of time on this. Man, and we were doing so well as well. Not specifically this rift, but just uh, just in general. We haven't had a rift failure in quite a long time. I mean, it's not exactly going to be a failure. We're just not going to do it in the time limit. We definitely don't have enough time. Okay, let's push on. And there's always the hope that you're going to round a corner and there's going to be something amazing there. But, uh, oh wow, actually the progress in this area is so much better. I'm wondering if maybe we should have uh, just run through the last bit. Look at how much easier everything is to kill. Okay, while well, the time has run out, we'll uh, get the last bits done quickly. We're still going to get experience for it, of course. We're just not going to get to upgrade our gems. Alright, Blighter, let's uh, start whittling you down. Yeah, that's a lot of kind of like gross, goopy stuff everywhere. Oh, geez, he's triggered a death actually. That's worrying. Oh, 
Well, let's keep our invincibility up as much as we can. There we go. That was a consumable. And yeah. Sad times. Sad times. Okay, well, you can still go back to town, hand it in, get some experience, and ID our stuff. My mind is stronger. So in total, we gained four levels there because we started on 587, but we only got three from the rift itself. Another Ramalan the Ding Dong. That's great. Madstone. Is that better than the other ones? 743, 740? No, it's not. Uh, this is Memento. Home Fans, Custom Risk Guard, Flying Dragon, of course. Yeah, they, they're all going to get salvaged up. We will ask for some boots. Uh, sorry, not boots. Uh, some trousers just before we go. And nothing, nothing. Okay, well, that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun. Shame about the uh, the final uh, rift there, but uh, what can you do? If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so. And you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.